Hey guys, I think one of the first things you learn when you collect magic cards is to never, and I mean never, trade away or sell your gas cradles. Especially if you are selling them to your local game store and they're offering you $200 each, you have two of them, you need $400, it is not a good deal. Now, some people will say, oh, it's a local game store. I've owned a local game store before. If Boogie was a patron of mine and I knew that he would be making a documentary or somebody, not him, he's lazy, somebody would be making a documentary about him and that video would get, oh, God forbid, you know, 5.4 million views on it, I would definitely want to put my best foot forward and I would actually offer Boogie over Card Kingdom buy list at the time because in my opinion I need to again I need to make sure that I am doing the best I can do to get traffic into my store and by being on this giant platform where so many people can see me and see my store and have a good you know again this is advertisement, you know, how much money would you pay to be advertised to 5.4 million people? I would pay a lot of money for that. So Boogie, you know, he's getting ripped off. The store is definitely ripping him off. I don't think there's any doubt in my mind that's exactly what is happening here. And it's, it's sad. It is a sad scenario where somebody who is Desperate for money. Does this sound familiar? Somebody who is hard off on money is being abused because uh, the local game store needs to make ends meet. So his cradle, to give you an idea how bad this is, cradle is a thousand dollar card buy list, meaning that is the lowest part. You can eBay for more. You can buy list should be the low. That should be the, in my opinion, the bottom line. Card Kingdom is willing to take 16 of these for a whopping very, very low price of only $200, or sorry, $600. And currently, they have the price of this card at $1,000 for near mint, but no one has one. They don't have a single one of them in stock for their near mint. Assuming Buggy's cards are near mint, and I believe they are from the picture, the magnifying I've seen. This is a god awful deal. This is one of the worst deals I've ever seen made, and it's made in front of, oh, 5.4 million people while watching the Boogie documentary. Never, ever sell your reserve list, guys. Like this, you will not get it back for what I, I promise you this. If you go and you sell your reserve list to your local game store, you will never get it back for anything remotely close to that price. Like, you're never going to get this card back, guys, for $200. You know, to $200, because people say, oh, he's got overhead. I, I get that. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, but my main takeaway, and, and the reason I want you guys to hear this out, is as a Magic player, a lot of people sell their collections to me. And I always say, are you sure? Because... If you do this, you are not going to be able to ever play Magic again, the way that you have played Magic. These cards like Dual Lands, Moxes, you sell them, you sell a Dual Land to me for $500, $620 is the Underground Sea buy list. Unless something really catastrophic happens, you're probably not going to get that card back for 1000 You sell your Cradle for 200 you probably are not going to get a cradle back for less than a thousand by the time you want to come back to this game. And these cards are in great utility. I talked about the utility. Uh, it's ED8s, it's ED8s, and it's some more ED8s. I mean, what ED8s deck could not benefit from a cradle? I, I don't know which one. What ED8s deck could not benefit from a. No. It... It is a really bizarre thing to consider that 
and I, I have sold collections too, thinking I would quit. I don't quit, and I had to buy back. I sold all my underground seas. I sold 400 dual lands at a whopping, when underground sea was $100 a pop. I thought that, I thought underground sea can never, ever get higher than that. I thought that was the peak. And there would never be a time where it would be more than that. It was. You know, it's 620 buy list now. So, let, let me just kind of reiterate. You never go, You even if you are broke, even if you are suffering, even if you are in the deepest of debt, like Boogie, even if you are Boogie2998. Boogie2998. You don't sell your cradles for $200. You do not sell your cradles for $200. The reason being is you will never get your cradle back for $200. And if you still have any, any inkling that you want to do Magic the Gathering or you want to play EDH and stuff, that cradle is your ticket to buying any EDH stack, trading for any EDH stack you want. That's why you don't do it. That's why you make sure that these cards that you have, like dual lands, I, I will tell you one thing. There are people, collectors like me, who just hoard these dual lands. Look at Alpha Investment. Do you think the Alpha Investment is selling a cradle for 200 Do you think he's selling one for 600 Do you think he's selling one for 800 No, he wouldn't. Unless it's like above retail, he's probably not going to sell his cradles because he would rather buy them at that price than sell them. We are talking about a uh, a situation where you there are certain cards, once you sell, you will never see it again. You will never be able to afford them again, so just keep them. And if you do want to sell, then trade them into other... You can trade them in a whole deck. Like you're, You don't need... If you have cradle, you have leverage. That game store... I would say would have paid Boogie the five hundred dollars he was asking because it was a really good price. That game store would have given him ninety percent of comps, ninety five percent. If sports cards, if like a Kaboom or a Prism can go for ninety percent of comps, what the hell are we talking about here? Cradle, one of the most useful cards. I mean, dual lands. What what are we talking about here, guys? We're talking about the creme la creme. We're talking about Magic the Gathering gold. We talk about something that cannot go down. Like maybe it fluctuates, but you understand that like the reserve list, especially useful. Not talking about the Norwales or you know any of that stuff. I think they're cute, right? But I am talking about the useful things in Magic: The Gathering. Things that you can use. Things that have mother effing value, just to the grave. And people being selling them to their local game store for like absolutely nothing. You, you cannot make this stuff up. I, I really wish I didn't have to see this, but it's sad.